What's going on guys, I'm Jeffrey, and these are three easy steps that will prevent you from wasting any more money on coaching. Let's begin. Step one, when you don't even know where to start, U.GG and OP.GG are God-sent resources that have all champion win rates at every elo, with every build order, with which spells to level, and matchup win percentages for free. Don't just use these to find out if your teammates are on tilt streaks. Step two, when you don't even know how to play, get on YouTube or Twitch, find someone playing what you wanna play at the level you wanna play it at, and watch how they play it. To go further, with smaller platforms, <clears throat> like I'm Jeffrey at YouTube.com, you can ask them questions that you have about the game and their playstyle, and it'll make them feel good to teach you, and you'll feel good for learning, for free! I know we're talking about uh, Nightsville, but do you ever be Anathemus? I do if there is like super fed enemy team, uh, enemy, uh, enemy, like really early on in the game. Step three, when you've been playing, but you don't know how to improve. VOD review, then VOD review, then get a VOD of your play and review it. You will be surprised at the level of your own insight and then do the stuff you think you should do from your own VOD review. Boom. Wow, Jeffrey, some of us just want some personalized help and can afford getting coaching. You're just a hater. Hey, you've got a point. If you want it, go get it. I love coaching. I think it's amazing that we can come together and work on improving a craft we love. But if you fail to complete the basic steps that are free, you're going to be paying for information that's been said in 10,000, probably more, YouTube videos. And my last point is this. When you do get coaching, having completed step one, two, and three, you will be a better student. Having someone tell you what play to make and when to make it is fucking useless, but having someone that will teach you a thought process and how to think about the game can be life-changing. If teachers just gave us all the answers to our tests, we'd be morons, but when a teacher actually teaches us how to solve problems, we can truly succeed. So I put Nice and LS in the thumbnail, obviously, because they're probably the more popular coaches. I know LS has worked with professionals, and I know Nice has kind of like been scrutinized for his session costs. And so I said, well, let's actually watch this guy's coaching and see what it's about. What did your Q just hit? Hit the minions and her. Right, correct, yes. Whose wave's pushing, yours or hers? Uh, it's going to be uh, mine because I right. have touched the wave. Because you touched the wave, exactly. So what are we hitting the minion for? Everything needs to have a purpose in this game. Every little every little bit of damage that you throw on your wave needs to have a fucking purpose. And this delighted me because it meant that he understood the depth of the game and that he knew that teaching the thought process behind actions is what's the most important thing. And so then I wanted to check out LS. Right? Like there has to be a purpose behind everything that you're gonna do. And you can tell from his behavior with how far back he is that he's not interested in trading with you. You should just reset. And the focus on thought process to me will always be more valuable than quick fix solutions. My point is this, do your best to create awareness around your strengths and weaknesses and grow individually using some of these free resources we've talked about. Then if you decide to get coaching, the value of it will increase because you'll be needing help with more advanced concepts. I hope this made sense. Send it to someone who needs it and good luck on your climb. See you guys in the next one.